Pisces, what is happening? I hope you guys are doing great. Pisces, I want to see. I want to see about your money. I want to see about your career, your finances. Let's see. Let's get let's get some cards. Do I even have these cards here? Let's get some cards. Oh, here they are. Are they these? Yeah. These are financial cards, finances, or well, <laughs> spiritual finances here. Let's see. What is what's coming up for Pisces? Like what what's the situation? What's the situation here? What's coming up? What's the situation? Power of prayer, first one that I can see out for finances. It's very important to, you know, your affirmations to get that conditioning in your mind, right? The more you repeat it, the more it gets ingrained. So the more you say positive things about your financial life and actually, you know, you'll start to believe it and you'll start to manifest it. Let go of guilt. Okay, let go of what you spent, what you should have done, what you didn't do. Let it go because that's taking up too much energy and being too dense. And therefore, you know, it's it's taking up too much space. And that's what you're praying essentially about. That's what your mind is constantly thinking about. So that's what you're going to be creating. And cooperation instead of competition for some of you, okay, um, you need to work better with people. For some of you, you know, there's this been, there's been an emphasis lately that with people you know working together with people is going to be beneficial for you maybe you know you're a person that feel like people drain you and because you're an empath right but you know you've learned to set healthy boundaries for yourself you you've blossomed in, into a completely different person that now knows how to um again set boundaries and um you know say no sometimes and now it's time for you to let people in right have healthy relationships so Cooperation instead of competition. Two people or multiple people can actually accomplish more together. What else? For some of you, yeah, it's letting go a, a guilt particularly about a situation that didn't go right with a partnership or a group of people or whatever. But, you know, it's let it go and move forward here. Pay yourself first. And sever vows of poverty. Yeah, I feel like you guys are getting into a whole new energetic level where I feel like you believe that you deserve more. You're actually elevated. Your finances could have improved for sure. You know, maybe now you have a new threshold. If before, you know, you only kept a certain amount in your bank account. Now you're not okay if you have this amount, like a higher level, right? So you're really learning to do away with those thoughts, okay, um, those maybe past condition that wasn't even yours and it's been passed down from who knows who um parents someone you know someone you've been around for a while um yeah you're you're severing and you're putting yourself first and i feel like a lot of you are giving yourself a lot more self-care and just in general and i feel like that energy of you giving to yourself nurturing yourself pouring back into yourself is going to pay you dividends Okay, you giving yourself all that love and attention and good energy is going to multiply your money, okay? When you feel good, you do good. All right, what's the challenge here coming up for Pisces in regards to um, finances before we get with some different cards? What are, what's, what's coming up for Pisces? What challenge? What potential challenge in regards to finances? We have two. Successful funding, which shouldn't be a challenge, and gratitude list. okay. So I feel here that it's a lot, men, money's always mental, of course, because really in the, in the quantum field of possibilities, there's many different things that we could do to acquire. This is an abundant universe. The universe wants to give it to you. There's some resistance that you hold, some belief that, no, I, I could never make that much or whatever it is, right? And I feel here that it's, it's starting to change your perspective, right? And starting to... Be grateful for the things that you already have, for the levels that you've already reached, okay? And that's going to bring you more of that. Um, and it's going to bring you more funding, right? So I feel here that it's changing your perspective and the affirmations and what you tell yourself and letting go of this guilt is so important. Again, it's not, you don't need to work harder. You need to work smarter and do away with the blockages. And therefore, you're going to be able to make money so much faster. So the inner work, and sometimes when I do these financial videos, they're like, well, you didn't tell me I should like go out and do this. Well, you know, really, this is like a matrix, right? Like I hate to, I know I'm a Pisces. I'm a general thinker, you know, um, let's see here. Let's see. 
What's coming in for Pisces? All right, what's going to help Pisces make more money? Let's see, what's going to help Pisces bring more abundance and money into your life? What's going to help Pisces at this time? What can Pisces do to bring more money and abundance into your life at this time? What can Pisces do? What can Pisces do? We have two. Listening to wisdom. Okay, we've been getting some energy about being quiet, right? Quieting the mind in Aquarius season, which, you know, it's like air, right? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Quieting the mind so you can listen and it's so interesting, actually, because I had a dream with a bird. Bird are, you know, tend to be messengers. And I had a dream that this bird was, like, heckling me, just, like, just getting at me and all over the place. And I was, like, ah, like, it was trying to tell me something. I knew that it was trying to tell me something. Anyhow, listening. Get quiet so you can listen. Quiet your mind. That's why your grounding, your meditation is so important. And water magic. Okay, so cleansing yourself. It's understanding. This is very interesting because I, I'm feeling that this is definitely a transition period in regards to yourself, your money. You've elevated into a new person, I feel. You've done a lot of growth in the past year specifically. Okay, especially couple, last couple of, cu couple of months. Jesus. But I feel here that there could be a tendency right now because the mind could throw you into lack. Oh, I need to gain more. I don't have this. My finances aren't where they want to be right. But the challenge here and what you should really do is try to quiet the mind, stay at peace so you can listen because you know that this is like an ending for a new beginning in some sense. And there's what you need to focus on is the rebirth, the rejuvenation, right? Get your energy, listen so you can know where to go, so you can maneuver accordingly, okay? Um, because there's been a lot of Knight of Swords type of energy, which is like acting out of lack, right? Not acting out of lack, acting rash, but... I feel here the most efficient thing for you to do to make money is actually quiet down right now, okay? So you can listen and therefore you can go faster later, okay? And do this rebirth. Cleanse yourself of all those energies, right? Because, again, if you don't cleanse yourself and you're holding all this baggage, you're going to go super slow. And, and you know, you're, it's better to cleanse yourself and that way you can just jet off into your new beginning in a sense, right? So listen and be quiet. What else? That was a lot for that, but. What else? What does Pisces need to do to make more money during this time? What does Pisces need to do to make more money at this time? Joy and delight. And it's so interesting because in the, in the other reading that I just did, um, like the spiritual little update, the card play came out. So I feel here, again, during this time for you to get it's it's not about actually doing and getting and, and doing at this time. I feel that actually the most beneficial thing that you can do to make money is get yourself in a creative space, relax, rejuvenate yourself from a very tough cycle, let it go, refresh yourself, work out, get yourself strong again, get yourself ready to go, quiet the mind and listen, okay? Because it's better to go slower in the right direction, take a break, than to go very fast in the very wrong direction, all right? This fun, this joy and delight is going to be very important for you to bring that creativity back in, okay? So that, that's coming. So pay yourself first, right? And, and sever vows of poverty. This is essentially what this is saying, okay? Paying yourself first is slowing down and, and bringing back the energy back to yourself don't give the energy to anything external to you pay yourself first give it to yourself take that time that you need sever vows of poverty is stop thinking that you need to always be doing something 24 7 rest is beneficial as well and at this time that's i i really think that's the most beneficial thing for you at the bottom of the deck again rebirth and rejuvenation this is a time of cleansing this is a time of you have to be in this energy of joy and delight to help these high energy, high level messages come in for you so you can take opportunity, okay? If something ended and you feel like you got to get back right back on it, you first got to listen. Very, very important. All right, what's, what does Pisces need to do at this time to make more money? What does Pisces need to do at this time to make more money? More money, more money for Pisces, more money, more money. What does Pisces need to do? We got three cards. We have Aries, self-starter, 
okay? Uh, a lot of fire energy, just get into, get into it, get active, okay? Do it, fierce, assertive, exhilarating, innocent, mission, uh, sparky, courageous, sometimes a little selfish. Um, we have Libra, okay? So the idolist and Mercury communication, and this was in the reverse. So I'm feeling here that, she, again, the severing the vows of poverty, okay? One of the most efficient things that you can do is, yes, absolutely get into action, but we want to make sure, right, behind the action, they say, and I think I said this in another video, before you cut down a tree, you spend a lot of that time strategizing. So before you get into action, what is it that you want to do? What's going to make you get up in the morning? What's going to fuel you? What new goals and aspirations you know, what, what is it going to be? There's so many different choices that we can take. What's really going to be the best one for you? And it's going to be important to choose wisely, okay? But the universe does want you to, um, to be idealistic, all right? But also be balanced and the social awareness, okay? And I think this, this thing is coming back around, right? Where you know that getting back out, um, getting back out and communicating with people and bridging those gaps in communication with people, okay? You need to be, you need to communicate who you are. Um, you know, th there is a part of you, right, that before maybe you were more expressive or more fashion forward, not even like that, but like, you know, you need to communicate more of you, and it's not like being too showy or anything like that, right? But your creative expression and um, and how you communicate that, right? And not being afraid to communicate. I, I feel like communication for you, right? Because you are someone that's a leader, you are someone that people see as, as a leader that they follow. It's in spirit, you've done all this work, right? And now as an empath and now as a person that's going to be leading us to this new way of, of living, right? The more feminine, you know, way of actually like working through your feelings and emotions. You're going to be the leader here. And actually spirit wants you to get out there and lead, okay? And show people just by you being you, that's an example, right? But if you tuck yourself and hide yourself away, people can't see that. People can't be inspired like, you, you know... You're naturally, I feel, supposed to show the way here in some way. All right, what else? What else to wrap this up? What, what can Pisces do to bring more money into her life? More money, more, more financial, craft, craft. Work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals, contribution, organization, skills, apprenticeship, method. All right. There's a lot of underlying things to finances here, right? Health, your well-being, all very important. Having a balanced lifestyle so you feel, um, you know, uh, the energy of joy and delight and creativity, okay? Because you're, if you're always stressed and, and you know, that's not going to help, right? And again, it's like the daily rituals. Um, what you do on the daily here, that self-starter energy, um, not being not um, not being afraid to switch it up, right? I feel like you know if your if your daily routine changes, maybe it needs to. It probably needs to. Okay, one more. The numinous. Wow. Okay. All right. So again, and I'm getting this from the past video because the past video there was an emphasis on spirit wanting you to really develop yourself like psychically. Like this is this is an emphasis. Like new energies coming in. Like you might be able to do things you never knew. But anyhow, I feel like there some of your crafts could be related to like these these different types of esoteric things, right? The unknown, ESP, extrasensory perception, okay, psychic abilities, ec okay, extrasensory perception. I that's the thing that a lot of you can already do, okay? We can we can do this. You just have to tune into when is it? When do you think it's your mind? There's so many things, right? But I feel like it's going to be elevating. Spirit definitely wants you to focus on this. Um, source, shadow work, inner knowing. Um, and this, is, I feel, is going to be part of your craft. And this is why you're going to have to listen because your craft shouldn't be something so difficult. It should be something that is already part of you. That's the sole purpose, right? The clarity on that. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to leave that there.
bam. I'll see you guys later. I hope this was somewhat helpful. I'm almost tempted to get with some other cards. You know what? Like, yeah, yeah. Let's get one more card. All right. All right. I want to see here. What practical things? What can, uh, what is coming in for Pisces with money in regards to money? Let's get some tarot. Money. What's coming in? What's coming in for Pisces in the next three months here for money? What's coming in for Pisces money-wise in the next three months? Money, money, money. Finances. What's coming in for Pisces? I saw the five of cups in the reverse, which is coming out of like grief or sorrow about your situation. What's coming in for Pisces in regards to money and finances here in the next three months? This card wants to show itself. Oh, the five of cups again. Five of cups in the reverse, like I said, I saw, and the Hierophant. Um, so I feel here that you're going to be coming out of a period of like grief and feeling sorry for yourself. And, you know, you're going to let go of that guilt about finances and you're going to commit to it. Okay. You're going to be more practical. You're going to like focus on your craft and those daily rituals and put that Aries energy into it. But I feel a lot of it is going to be fueled. A lot of this you know, and, and when they say, you know, I've accomplished all these things, like, no, I haven't in the name of God, right? Like your source of inspiration of that, you know, it's really going to, um, it's, it's going to be good here. Okay. What's coming in for Pisces money? There's responsibility here. Um, you know, sometimes it can feel he uh, heavy to carry, heavy to carry. Okay, and there could be a, a moment of suspension again where there's like this waiting period, right? Like I told you guys, you could feel like you want to rush into something, but the most efficient thing would be to quiet the mind and listen, right? And you could at times feel a little restless, but there's absolutely a new opportunity here for something new. And I feel like you guys are going to um, get that opportunity, right? Because you're doing something differently and you're putting yourself first, right? You're not um, continuing on the same thing. You're, you're giving yourself that time. And I feel here like you're gonna you're going to start to commit to yourself in a whole different way and your finances are gonna change. So I hope that this was somewhat helpful for you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.